Tastes like it's. I can taste. I can't think of the fucking name. I know what it tastes like though. Pina colada. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like pina colada. It tastes like pina colada, but without like the rice addition. If y'all ever had rice, we did a gas of trash. The uh, blood tiger's blood, it tasted like that pina colada, but not this style. I'm not a big pina colada fan, but I'm not knocking it. So I'm not a very 
big pina colada fan, so I'm going to save a little bit of this for my wife to try. I'm going to rate this a gas, but I'm going to give it like a 7. I kind of want to give it a 7.5, but it's not there for me. Like I said, for this to be pina colada, I actually like this a lot. Um, it's got a little coconut in it. But it's very smooth. It's not like... Um, Traditional pina coladas or like any of those words, kind of like so so sweet. I don't know what gin and juice is, but I think it's supposed to be like word play with gin and juice. Um, I guess that's alcohol or some shit. But I'm gonna give it a gas and I'm gonna give it a seven. Lindsay, if she comes through and gives it like a higher, then we'll knock it to a seven point five. But it's not passing the eight and it's not six territory. So fucked up energy, gas seven point five. Pina Colada. Pina Colada. 7.5 or 7. And it tastes like um, Pina Colada. Alright, let's get ready for the gym. Okay, so I've been warming up. Um, loosening up my glutes, my lower back a little bit. Feeling pretty good compared to uh, yesterday. My headache is gone. I had a real bad headache. Uh, for the past two or three days from moving. And I think it's also just the difference in like like the pollen count from like Dalton area to like Ringgold, Chattanooga, Tennessee. So we're loading up 300 kg or 661, that's the plan. It'll be 301 or 30.5 because I have the one pound kilos, but or Elicos, but if they don't work, then um, so be it. But regardless, we're going to warm up and see how it goes. So let's get to it. So I'm pretty good. I'm going to go to 645 and then 661. I need to brace a little bit harder on my belt because um, I feel like myself tilting a little bit forward. Um, but regardless, it feels really good. Oh, that's too much. Too much. But regardless, it feels pretty good. So we're going to go from there. That was, six, that was 595. 596. Uh, 645 and then we'll go to the uh, 662. Having to add, um, I'm gonna have to end up adding the 35 on there. So that was 645. If I throw on a 35 on each side, it ends up being 665. And uh, I have the one kilo, so it's gonna make it 666 or 302 kg. Um, so the last one didn't feel pretty bad. I, I didn't look at it on the camera yet, see how it moved. Um, but either way, we have this for three. It's supposed to be, I think, an RPE of seven. Let me see. Yeah, RPE 7. So maybe two or three or more reps in me, but we'll see. I think the biggest thing is just going to be grip. i got small sauce I'm going to hit over here. And uh, just kind of holding on. I'm going to have to hold on for life. got some music playing. I think I'm going to play uh, Tear My Heart by 21 Pilots. Um, or maybe something from uh, Five Finger Death Punch. Not Five Finger Death uh, Bullet from My Valentine. Uh... Let's see. Maybe your betrayal or dignity. We'll play dignity by Bullet from My Valentine. So take a two, three minute break. And when I get to this set, 666 pounds, 302 kg, three reps. Yes. What do you mean you have the key?
are looking weird right now um, because you are hanging by the side of the seat. I have to rush home to the wife because um, I put the deadbolt on the front fucking door and um, she can't get in because she usually drives this car. I'm driving her car today because I had to get the oil changed and I'm off. And she took the, my car. So, yeah. I'm rushing home. I'm not going to come back to 306. Um, there's a gym up the road. It's called 1440. I'm going to check that out. And to be honest, if I like it, I may use it. Because it is not fun driving 30 fucking minutes to the gym and home. That's, that's an whole hour. So, um, yeah. I got to go fast. But within the speed limit. Okay, everybody, I'm home. We done. God damn, you doing everything besides what I want you to. Come here. You want me to come in there? No, come here. I had a gas check for you, I have, have, I have let the wife in. She's home. Okay. So before we go back to the gym, I'm actually going to change. In the meantime, because it's actually hot as fuck outside. I want you to try something. Okay. Gas or trash? It is hot. Okay. So the seat is yours. I'm gonna change. Talk to him. Fuck. Uh. Okay. Gym is yours. The camera's right here. Yeah. I don't know what 
knows what about. I don't think he knows what pina colada tastes like. That's your bitch ass eater outside. Alright. That's your that's your take on it. Alright, we go back to the gym. Alright. So going to this gym is called Fitness 1440. Um just putting on another tank top. Uh same different uh, different socks but like the same style. And I have on my uh it's about drive, it's about power. Um Dwayne Johnson under armor collab. Shorts. I have deadlifts still, so that's why I'm going with this setup, and it's just minimalistic because I actually didn't wear. I went commando on that set of deadlifts, so if you see something swinging, you know why. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get. Oh, good Jesus Christ! That was too close. All right, we get back to the gym. I might give a tour. We'll see. If it's hella busy, I probably won't, because I don't want people thinking that I'm like trying to record them. Plus, the camera in your face is kind of weird. It's not too bad in here. I only see two deadlift platforms, so I'm gonna try to finish deadlifts, but we'll see what happens. I, uh. God damn. So as fuck. Alright, so. We will see. Because I do not want to skip. Uh, I don't want to skip deadlifts, but if I have to, I will. Because of time. So it's a really nice gym. Oh, it's okay gym. I give it like a like a six. I probably won't be able to train here. Um, I'm having to use straps on the collar or the actual bar because it's, it's just a shitty bar. It's like the classic like go-to like playpen bars. But uh, I just did the four sets of six conventional because I just got out of the car. I didn't even really stretch. I just came in to knock it out. I see a bench open question mark. I see, I think I dude's curling on it or doing something on it, so I'm gonna ask him if he'll let me work in with him. But we gotta go to bench now, and so, the plates are not what they say they are. Like four or five, I'm a, I'm a strong conventional puller, but like four or five, it never moves that quick, right? So, it is what it is, but I'm gonna strip these holes off. We're gonna get to benching, so. So I put on 225, and it was really light, so I think it's the same thing with, uh, the deadlift is just the, the plates aren't like what they say they are. So for my 5x4, I have on my program, um, it's, it's loud, it's stuck in here. For my 5x4, I have 355, and so I'm going to try it, but I'm going cons to be conservative and put like 554 question mark, and then beside that, I'm going to put weight, weight maybe is what like calibrated, you know? So it could be 355, it could be 330, right? So I'm gonna put weight, weight feels light, not kilos. All right, I'm gonna go to 275, and then I'm gonna go to uh, 315, and I'm gonna go 330, and then we're gonna 335, so, or 355. I'll put you guys over in this corner.
So I don't know if you can really like see the angle from my setup, but I'm like, I'm like here having to unwrap. And so I actually have to drop the weight down to uh, 335. So I hit two sets with 355. I just hit my third set with 335. But I'm gonna finish off with two more sets at 335. The average sub total comes out to 330, 343. So I'm gonna round it down to uh, 340 because I just, I can't handle it. But I got two more sets. I'm gonna record probably the fourth set, which is the next one for you guys. And I'll skip the fifth one. I have um, hamstrings and triceps for accessories. So just like having to cut the workout coming home for the wife of course like y'all understand and then switching gyms so but i mean regardless i'm trying to stay uh keen to what's what's on the program so got dumbbell rdls row and lat after this so i'm gonna get to it definitely think it's a really it's a very convenient gym with it being 10 10 minutes away from my house but it's not worth like the equipment I'm not trying to be rude or saying like the gym's shitty, but it's just not worth the equipment. So, I'm gonna hit the uh, last two sets.